I'm not going to introduce anybody. Yeah, no. We're going to wait till video two where I do my introductions. <laughs> Start playing, and I'll introduce everything in episode two. That's you. Yes, but I didn't even give my proper actual YouTube. Ha. Ah. So yes, I'm going to spin the first level, which is designed to give you an introduction to the character, not introducing the character. They're actually no longer technically functional once they come off the thing. They just still can put compression in the ground. And giant bees. Because if small bees weren't enough, giant bees with Gatling guns. Speaking of which, jump. There you go. Now go find health somewhere. Or don't. Health is not actually required in this level. Unless you're like me and have actually died on the first level. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty looking hole. Let's just jump straight down in it. And FYI, I hate these guys so much. They're so annoying. Because how they enter the battlefield is they fly straight at you. <laughs> After be moving to, I don't know, go through a level, you will oftentimes be moving into them. Yeah. Then they get all kinds of fun. We. This is basically the end of the level. There's a fight after these two to three, depends on how far you move. Which is with this guy, whose name is never shown to like the very end. His name is Vile. And you can't beat him because the game decided, hey, who needs a health bar? And it should even troll him. Actually fighting proper. And once your HP gets low, he shoots you with his gun, which binds you. And then dialogue. Because dialogue. Don't know why Mega Man X needed dialogue. The Mega Man series never used dialogue until like really late into the series. Characters don't need to talk. There are robots and explosions to happen. And I suppose I could read this, but meh. I don't think anybody else wants to hear me talk more than I have to. So I'll let it scroll slow so people can read. If you can't read, just pause the video. If you actually care at all. Well, that's the point of the game, really. So that and jumping. There's a lot of jumping. No, there's not a whole lot of that. Are you done talking? I want to get back to shooting things. That's better. And numbers. Alright, I will introduce the Mavericks, at least. There are eight of them to fight. We have Launch Octopus, Chill Penguin, Flame Mammoth, Boomer Kawanger, Steam Chameleon, Mid-Bomb, Start with 
with the one that everyone should start with. It's mandatory... Which, yes. You start is really kind of crappy, but you get upgrades throughout the game, other than just the powers you kill. Hey, there wasn't an explosion there anymore. Tell me about it. Sprite went off screen. Ow. Ow! They have guns! Why do the rabbits have guns? Because mechanical rats! Not a whole lot to say about most of the pages. They're pretty straight or normally self explanatory. Actually, successfully did that. I normally jump into him. Ah. Get you back here! Don't get to live just because you hit me. Oops, we go. And the first of the four upgrades to X. Coming from a hollow light here. And an actual close this thing to an explanation you'll get for your character's backstory. And therefore, one of the longest conversation blocks in the game. No, actually, you weren't created to fight. That's why these pods are here, is to give you the ability to fight. Well, that's just self-defense. Self-defense. Also, great can opener. Uh, remote control. Is when you're tired of watching the TV, you just shoot it. It's also good for spaying and neutering pets. And anyway, these are the dash boots. I can go really fast now. It allows you to not only move it with speed, but you can carry that momentum into jumps. So you can do long jumps. You can also, if you time it right, use the dash boots off of a wall to do a dash jump. Gonna, a wall. Ha! Bye. And that was a ride armor. They don't really do much in this game. You only see like two of them. Yes. Because apparently all their high tech defenses and guns and ride armor units are failing, so let's just chuck snowballs at him. And I just need the door here. Pha! Knee of Justice. And the first robot maverick. Helping. Wait. He has moves. That, which if you're in the snowy part, will freeze you. What normally? Ah. Or he can grab a hold of the hook and pull on it to make wind. Spawn his ice, do the slide. While he's sliding, he's invincible, so it's best just to avoid him. Those sculptures can be destroyed, but they can take a good beating before they go down. Aside from that, the only other move he's got that he hasn't shown is that. I can't quite clear him. 
Oh, for the love of... Dash! Oh, now you break your statues! I wouldn't hurt myself. Stop doing that! I'm hiding up here, leave me alone! Either way, that's... Chipping is pretty simple. His pattern's pretty easy to... Well, pay attention to. As long as you ain't right up on him, he's no real threat. And now for the first power of the game... Shotgun Ice. Which shoots a block. But when it hits something, it shoots a spread pattern backwards of ice shards. Which doesn't really make it a shotgun either way, but... Anyway, next video I'll be taking on Storm Eagle and actually explaining the plot. So stay tuned.